Let's go to Max in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Max, how are we doing this afternoon? Hey, fellas. How are you? Thanks for taking the time. You betcha. How can we help, brother? Yeah, um, so I want to make, I've never really done anything like this before, so I want to make sure I ask this in the best way possible. Um, I made a huge mistake in going to Boston University for school. Um, between Bentley and BU, uh, I, I took in about $250,000 of student loans okay. for an education degree that I'm not using. I'm not teaching. Hmm. Um, I'm working, you know, I'm working at a bank. I'm lucky to be employed, but uh, 207000 of that is in default. Um, my payment was supposed to be $2,200 a month. Uh, I make 58 a year. I just simply don't make it enough to make that kind of payment. Um, so I guess I'm wondering, especially during these circumstances where, you know, I, I hear Dave talk about being a gazelle and trying to take this, take care of this as quickly as possible. Uh, I was driving Uber. I was, you know, I, I play piano part time and, you know, for the better part of a year, I guess it'll be a year next month. Like I, all of that has been completely decimated mm -hmm. and who knows when it might come back. Um, I guess I will say on top of that, like the Uber thing, I got into a car accident a few months ago and got a concussion. So hmm. car is gone for now too. Um, so I guess one, what are these, I mean, in your experience, have you, or have you heard any stories about what these creditors actually do? I, I mean, I'm paying them $400 a month, but obviously that's a drop in the bucket. Um, and it's kind of a nightmare scenario. Yeah. You're, you're not I'm making just it. Wondering if, you're not making a dent in it at all, uh, Max. Yeah. And right now, um, you need a bigger shovel. Right. Okay. Okay. Um, we need to get your income up. Uh, because right. you, you're not going to be able to pay it off, uh, making $55,000, $58,000 a year. We, we need to get your income up. Right. All right. Um, especially with $400 a month payment. So what what's your career right now? Uh, I work at a bank in okay. finance. All right. What did you go to school for? elementary education okay so, all right so, yeah. so, so why they approved that you know 250,000 is beyond me when hey hold on hold on though max hold on let's don't do that <laughs> yeah okay yeah, yeah. let's yeah, take yeah, full yeah. ownership of where we're at okay yeah you, you oh, signed yeah, it bro sure. i mean it, it, and it's yeah yeah. Absolutely. you're normal you know what i'm saying you're you're normal i, I signed for student loans i did too john signed I did for too. student loans i mean we're, yeah, we're not it was the stupidest thing i've ever done well i mean we, we've all done we've all been there so yeah. let's put that down and let's move on to solving the problem yeah. now right yeah so sounds good all right so you're making fifty eight thousand dollars a year in, in banking institution all right you're saying you cannot drive for uber what else can you do so you have an education um, can you go home and tutor online right now, especially within your age bracket, Max, you can you can jump online and do some creative things to generate some income. All right. Right now, you need to step back and, and have a game plan. How are you going to generate another twenty five thousand dollars a year? Because check this out. If you could generate another twenty five thousand dollars a year, you can attack this debt and be debt free within the next three to four years. Uh, because I'm going to show you how to pretty much negotiate. I'm going to give you access to my book, Destroy Your Student Loan Debt. I want, so when we hang up, I want you to stay on the line. Kelly's going to send you that book for free on John and I. It's really on me because it's my book, but I love John. <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm happy to take credit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but I'm going to show you how to refi it, uh, how to get it out of collections, how to refi it, and how to come up with creative ways to negotiate some type of uh, settlement offers within this thing. Now, you may not be able to settle it. I'm not saying you will be, but you might be able to. But the key thing for you right now is uh, making your, your shovel larger as far as in getting your income. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to give you two books. Uh, Ashton, I'm going to give you two books. I'm going to give you one book, and then I'm going to tell you, you need to go listen to our good friend Ken Coleman. We call him the shovel guy. OK, because he's going to show you how to turn his fifty eight thousand dollars and maybe turn it into one hundred thousand dollars because he's a pro mm -hmm. at teaching people how to make more money, how to get into their sweet spot. So you have a shovel problem. And then from there, you need to go ahead and get gazelle intense. And I'm going to show you how to take that shovel and get out of debt. You feel me? Yeah. Yeah. So we really can't lay out too much for you right now. But the key thing is you got to get on a clear budget. You. For the next three to five years, Max, you are broke. Okay, you right. don't have time to. Are you single or are you married? Uh, I'm actually getting married in December. You get married crossed. in December. Oh, mm -hmm. okay. How much debt does she have? 
I, as far as I know, zero. As far as you know, you ain't talked to her. As far as you know, yet. you're getting married. Have yeah, that I conversation hope. today, Max. Yeah, right. you, you, you propose oh, without knowing. She certainly doesn't doesn't have the uh, student loan issue that I do. Oh yeah, yeah, but but she may got she may have car loans. She may have. I mean, yeah. Well, no, he, no car loan. Okay, cool. Well, just ask her. You know, ask her. Do you have any debt outside of a mortgage? You know, just, just, just ask her. You know, and they say, now that's now that just brings up another thing right there. Right. You know, you have mean, two incomes. You attacking have two this incomes debt. attacking right. this debt. You can go out there and generate some more. What does she do for a living? Uh, she works for the uh, the state uh, of Jersey right now. Oh, so she's making pretty decent money there with some good benefits. Uh, yeah, they're doing all right. I mean, she's only working one day a week. Uh, I, I I don't know something about them not being able to distribute laptops for last year, which is a little ridiculous. But well, she's going into the office one day a week, but is she working from home? No, I, I mean I, I don't know what their team came up with, but yeah, basically they're going into the office one day a week, and that's it for now until this kind of calms down. I it's beyond me. I haven't. <laughs> I haven't all right, so hey, hey Max, about it. hey Max, it's something that I'm picking up yeah. in your soul a little bit that just to cut through it, okay. In your original question, you asked us, what are the creditors really going to do? And behind that is yeah. this sense of you, you feel guilty that you signed a piece of paper, and that, that waffles back and forth between blaming the folks who let you sign it, which is fair, and feeling stupid and ashamed that you did what you did. I want you to think of that guilt and that shame as a big cinder block. You are not going to get anywhere in a, in a new marriage. You're not going to get anywhere towards paying down this debt, which, brother, you owe. Until you put that cinder block, cinder block down, pick up a shovel, two of them, three of them. Yes, you, you got wiped out in 2020. It sucks. Now you got a choice to make, brother. Are you going to sit there and go, what are they really going to do? Are they going to come get me? Or are you going to get back up, be, the, be the, the, the husband that your new wife is going to deserve and need and that she is marrying into, and then, brother, go pay off your debt. Stay on the line. Anthony's going to give you his book. And you're going to call us back in a year, and you're going to show you, you're going to tell us how far you've wiped this sucker down because you're on it. This is the Dave Ramsey Show.